lucky and don't get cocky. Oh man, the very heavens. Victory? Kanzai! Wait, we, we did, did it! Like an easy win. Don't get cocky. Come for it, though. You're gone. Dividing it. Wasting. Out of my way. You're disturbing power now. Unleashed. Me and my judgment are coming evil before me. Merge yes. well your weak spots. You can't get away. Trip you up. You picked the wrong people to fight with. Finish that one.
This looks easy. Don't get careless. Take this! Eliminate them! Back there was awesome! Sure was. I bet most enemies couldn't stay standing after getting hit with that. <sighs> Yuri? To know in an instant how I need to move? It was the first time I've ever felt that. Whoa! It was really cool, Yuri! <sighs> You've done some growing, Yuri. <laughs> you sure are something.
Hold up, hold up. That looks pretty dang fun. Let the old man give it a go. I don't think anyone will want to try after watching you, old man. What are you saying? I still got the stuff. Hey ya! Did that look fun to any of you? Like an easy win. Don't get careless. I think there's a cabin or something where we can get out of the cold. I don't think anyone would build a cabin on top of a sheet of ice. If we just had some fire. Oh yeah, Rita, use your magic to give us some fire, would you? What am I, a walking matchbox? And besides, using it on you would be a waste of air. What's the big deal? Weren't you just using it over and over again just a little while ago? That was to defeat enemies. What would you want me to set on fire anyway? Hmm, you've got a pretty muscular body. Huh? Well, I mean, with the guilds and the knights and all, it's a lot of work. Doesn't look like there's enough fat to burn very well. <laughs> That's too bad. Huh? Hey!
You thought you could win? Too bad. I don't care what rock you crawled out from. Bring it. I gotta try and keep up. This? Nah, this isn't scary. Doesn't all that fighting ever make you tired, Yuri? Nah, I've got you here to heal me if I get hurt, after all. But getting hurt and getting tired are different. Don't you ever run out of energy? Hmm, I'd say swinging my sword gives me more energy rather than taking it away. You're like an over-energetic kid who runs around until he passes out. Of Course, I've got more energy than a kid, so I can make that much more mischief. Ah, youth. I'm out of breath with just one swing. I wish I could go back to my younger days. Talk about pathetic. Don't worry. Won't be long before you're in the same boat as me, kid. <laughs> I don't think that's too funny, old man. Well, until then, you can just sit and suffer in admiration of my youthful energy. That's the first time I've ever heard of someone suffering in admiration. Gold, gold, gold. So gold, 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 gold. So, what are you gonna do with the air crane? I'm gonna use the energy to make an air converter. An air converter? My plan is to efficiently convert the air into matter, decreasing the overall amount of air. But for that, it's ideal to have the converter use energy similar to both air and matter. How is that energy different from air? Elementally separated air transitions into matter in stages and eventually becomes stable. I'm going to stop its transition between the two states and develop a converter formula. So it won't be air or matter? It's a state that's closer to matter than to air, but it's still not quite matter. We call it mana. Mana. To think that one short utterance could hold more gravity than the light used to lure fish out of the frigid sea at night. It actually has a really long, complicated name, but mana's good enough. But it'll still be less stable than actual matter, so we'll need something to act as a core. The Epithea. And a lot of air and Estelle's power to recombine the formula. Using my power without the control formula will unbalance the air. It'll just flood out again. But we can't just sit here and ignore that thing. And... Yeah? It's a bet I'm willing to take. I guess I should be the one trying to stop you, but I'm game to get in on this bet, too. I? I'll wager a billion gold on that. The theory is correct. It'll be okay. I'll return this billion gold to you many times over. Oh, truly now? Yep. Come on, let's head to the Air Creme. Huh? Are you catching a cold, Estelle? No, it's just... I've been so cold ever since I saw Rita use that water magic of hers. That's terrible! Are you sure you're okay? Ha, ha, now it's both of you? You should just tell Rita to stop using that kind of magic. I can hear Rita already. I'll decide what type of magic I use, thank you very much. Oh, come on. If we tell her that we might be coming down with colds, I'm sure she'll... What's that? Something about me? Hey, you catch a cold too? Maybe someone's talking about me behind my back. <laughs> That's Rita for you. I have been trained by night. 
chance. I won't lose. Hey! It was so easy! I tell you, thinking of a converter for air, you're quite the thinker. That's our genius mage girl Rita. Yep, yep. Well, I had a hint to go off of. Come to think of it, you did say you'd investigated Zod, didn't you? Despite its amazing size, it wasn't running off of air, even though it was a barrier blastia to protect the entire world. A barrier blastia? Oh yeah, they were protecting the world from the Autophagos! You mean to say it's been there for a millennium? It's as dogged as a philosophizing anemone! Same goes for the Autophagos. It's been clinging to that barrier for just as long. Alexei seemed to believe Zod was a weapon, but he couldn't have been more mistaken. But the runaway air was the cause for the Autophagos' awakening, wasn't it? Ah, so that's why they would use a barrier running on power other than air. But then, what sort of power was it using? The Children of the Full Moon, perhaps? It was actually energy taken straight from them. Inside that giant core, it continued to power Zod as a virtually perpetual formula. Most likely, the energy was taken in exchange for their lives. The light of life was extinguished from the children of the full moon. So that's what Miorso's legend meant. According to Duke, they did it of their own free will. They wanted to save the world. The love the children of the full moon bore for this world is what created the barrier. The power of love makes you want to cry. They sacrificed themselves for the world. The children of the full moon were protecting us the entire time. Oh, we're all over the place. Our ties to each other will save us! <laughs> Rita, last night you were saying the strangest things in your sleep. What was it? Come on, tell me! Hey, don't go telling weird stories about me. You were chanting magic spells. So what? That's not scandalous or anything. Shut up! What were you expecting, anyway? Rita, I think all this fighting we've been doing is getting to you. Rita, you were so cute saying spells in your sleep. What are you talking about? But I have to say, I was pretty surprised when the spell actually worked. Seriously? You see, Rita, you should really get a little more rest. How much of that was true and how much of it was a total lie? Oh, I've never been very good at lies. Keep your eyes on my sword.
This looks like fun. You thought you could win? Too bad. Yuri, you like cooking, don't you? I don't know about like. Why? We've been making you cook for us all the time and you haven't refused once. Quiet, Estelle. We don't want him to stop. It's all right, I noticed. You don't mind? Isn't it a lot of work? I used to cook for myself when I was living in the capital. It's not bad at all. It's not bad, but you don't really like it? Well, it was better than having to eat dangerously awful stuff every single day. He meant well, but he didn't realize how bad he was. This was the only way to stop him. You got my condolences, Yuri. Why are you looking at me? Rita's cooking is nothing compared to this stuff, trust me. I'd like to meet someone who could make food like that. It's like looking at a scary monster. I'll pass on the food, though. You already met him. You picked the wrong people to fight with. Keep your eyes on my sword.
Let's eliminate them! They strike! Hey! Man, I want some more. Like an easy win. Don't get cocky. Shining Dragon Monster's not going to show up again, right? If it does, you'll beat it up for us just like the last time, right? You're mean. Okay, I'm ready. Estelle, come over here. Now, I'll release the control formula. Once I do that, the air crene will react to you and produce more air. I want you to recompose the air formula into a stable formula closer to mana. Uh, um, I don't understand. Yeah. Okay, the water element is strong here, so imagine flowing water and let your body flow with the air. The theory behind materializing air is the same as performing magic. If Estelle can recompose the air into a state close to mana, then I should be able to guide the air into the cyanociel. Can we do anything? No. Go take a nap or something. We'd freeze to death if we took a nap here. We're pretty handy, you know. We can cook or fish or anything you want. Just tell us what to do. I wouldn't say anything. We can use the conversion formula we found in Zaudet. That 
was for substituting life for air. Your life! You can't do that! But if this fails, then we'll all be swallowed up by a flood of air. We'll be dead anyway, right? We're all risking our lives. Let us help. All right. I'll use your life energy to guide the air into the cyano -CL. If we do that, I think Estelle will understand the flow of the air without interference from me. All right, everyone. Let's do this. Sure. Okay. Why not? Ready, Estelle? Here we go. Everyone, come over here. Go ahead. Try and synchronize yourself with my formula. There, that's good. in the cyano -CL. The formula is working. The force field is stable. It's gonna be okay. Uh, uh. What happened? D did it not work? No, it's still under control, but what is this? formula for reshaping the Apatheia, it's reformulating itself! Here. Could the will of Delius trapped in the Apatheia have... Amazing! I feel the waters of the world at my command. I am the ruler of the waters. Okay. So... Did it work? It's gone way beyond working. I never thought it would gain a will of its own. Nature's mysteries will forever transcend the limited scope of our imagination. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on this one. Humans? What creature am I? Though no longer Bellius the Intellicaea, you have granted life to me. I ask that you give me a name. A being that controls the essence of a material. Maybe you're a spirit. And so my name shall be... The Splishy Splashy Watercolored Queen! An ancient word for the ruler of the waters. How about Undine? Undine. Henceforth, I shall be known as the Spirit Undine. Ah, I feel the power swell within me. Such is the benefit of the air which you saw fit to gather for me. It wasn't any cakewalk, either. Receive this now as token of my thanks. 
Undini, we need to get the world's air under control. Please lend us your power. Very well. However, my powers alone will be insufficient. Huh? I control only the waters. You must gather those who rule the other elements as well. The elements of earth, water, wind, and fire. We need at least three more. We'll need help from the other Entelikea, won't we? Aye. There are very few Entelikea left. Pharaoh, Gusios... And Ba'ul! Not Ba'ul. He hasn't taken in enough air to create an Apatheia. And on top of that, I won't allow it. Undine, do you have any ideas? The shining forest of Ariolumen and Relawis, the root of the world. Your friend Ba'ul should know the location of these places. She disappeared! No, she is here. I feel her. It seems like the air crinna has quieted down too. Even though we're not controlling Estelle's power. Really? So, Undine is controlling Estelle's power? You mean Estelle is really free? Yes. Yes! That's great, Estelle. Well, things are sure taking a turn for the strange. Yeah, I never would have dreamed any of this would happen. But we finally see the light at the end. As welcome as the rays of sun that pierce into the ocean's depths. <laughs> Rita, you look happy. So do you, Yuri. There's no longer anything shackling Estelle. She can use her power without causing any harm to herself or unbalancing the air. So yeah, I'm happy. Estelle's really free! There's no guarantee she won't overdo things again, though. We'll just watch her closely. If we don't, she might go back to healing people till she keels over. Explain it, but she is here. I can sense it. Perhaps she dwells within Estelle. Well, she was created through Estelle, so maybe the two are connected. Very interesting. Hey, save the research for later, okay? I know, I know. You don't have to. What, what was that just now? Isn't that where? It came from the direction of Zaude. Fagos. 
No. Has Zade stopped working? Uh-oh. Do you think we might have done something to set this off? That is the true catastrophe. That thing does look like it could eat the whole world. What are we supposed to do about something like that? It's a touch too big to fillet with just my kitchen knife. Hey, Rita. Duke said the Autophagos was born from air. Huh? So if the spirits convert air into matter, could we do something about the Autophagos if we had enough spirits? I don't know. I just... I don't know. But... I do think it's worth a try. Let's try it, Yuri. Then it's settled. Paul. Yes, I see. Thank you. The servants of the Atafagos are attacking the city, Nordopolica. <gasps> I guess we can't ignore something like that. Let's go. Ooh! I'm gonna hurt that idiot who brought the Atafagos back! What could have happened at Zaude? Those nutjobs probably fiddled with the thing too much and broke it. Thanks to Alexei, Zaude's no longer functioning like it was meant to. Greed always eats itself. That wouldn't be a problem if there weren't other victims. This guy just never learns, does he? Things are gonna have to hit bottom before he consider changing his ways. But they see that thing about to eat the planet, right? Even an idiot would understand the situation. I sure hope so. This looks like fun! Thank <laughs> you. 
This looks easy. Don't let him trip you up. Come forth, Not bad. Are you done already? Finish that one. That black thing. That's what we saw on the sands of Kogor. That was Pharaoh's vision. This is real. Be careful. It looks like it's trying to eat the air of the shield. Is the Atafagos drawn to air? This thing looks pretty mean. It may be, but it's what we've caught on our line. We'll reel it right in. Come on. Was easy. I hope the town is all right. Let's go check it out. Guess practice makes. Pr I'm even strong. Hold your position. We're gonna stop them here. Things getting wild around here. Y you were. 
I guess I'm saved again. It seems that this was the only city to be attacked. What bad luck. This isn't about luck. Where were you, Rita? I went to check the barrier Blastia. Its power had been raised, and I guess the monsters were drawn to it. The power is returned to normal now. We thought raising the power would protect us, but it turned out to be the opposite. I'll go see the citizens. Feel free to rest here as long as you please. Thanks for the offer, but we still have business to do. We better get moving. You are all welcome at any time. Try stopping by when you have the time. Thanks.